amendment in front of the US Senate. Word that up. smoke screen will not wash. You want me to run through the dictatorships you're supporting? Do you want me to yes, run? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Why not? Well, that is masochism. That really is masochism. Well, you want me to run through the dictatorship yes, get, in Saudi yes, Arabia? Yes, get on with it. No. Do you want me to deal with the dictatorship no. in Saudi Arabia, the prison state? Do you want me to run through the family business more Corleone than Sainsbury's that runs Kuwait? Do you want me to run through the dictatorship in Egypt? He has the goal to claim what? the election in Egypt as a fruit of the massacre of hundreds of thousands of people in Iraq. Hosni Mubarak got more votes in the so-called free election last week than he got in the election he admitted he rigged six years previously. And you want to call that democracy. You talk about democracy in Lebanon, your cedar revolution. It wasn't democracy they were demanding in the square of the cedar revolution. If there was democracy in Lebanon, Sheikh Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah, would be the president of Lebanon. But he can't be. Very interesting. He can't be the president of Lebanon. Very no Muslim can be the president of Lebanon. You've got to be a Christian to be the president of Lebanon, even though only 20% of the population of Lebanon are Christians. And how did that come about? Because the United States Marines waded ashore in Beirut in 1958 to impose that constitution on the people of Lebanon. You have the gall to talk about dictatorship and democracy, Mr. Hitchens. You're, and you have the gall to talk about corruption in the Middle East. Your president and his father are complicit to the tune of millions and millions of pounds in the corruption of the Arabian Gulf in Saudi Arabia with the Carlyle Group, with secret Saudi investment in the failed business enterprises of George W. Bush. And you, a former Trotskyist, wrote in the newspapers that you were backing the re-election of George W. Bush, Dick Cheney, Donald Rumsfeld and the rest of this gang. You should be ashamed of yourself, but you're not. But I'm not. But you're not. But I'm not. But, but you're not ashamed of yourself at all. It's true, I praised you. You were a butterfly. You're now a slug. You did right like an angel, but you're now working for the devil and damn you and all your works.